Hi, it's Naomi and Michael here at our High Plains Homestead. Tonight we're talking about soap. When I first got into natural and healing and herbal healing, I was really interested in making soap, but I was scared of the lye, so I started by making salves and lip balms. After I conquered those, which were pretty easy, they just involved milk and beeswax, uh, I started looking into videos of how to make soap and the safety precautions that you need to take when making the, it, such as gloves, and glasses and having vinegar nearby. Um, so after I had watched lots of videos and collected the needed supplies, one day after the boys went to bed, I conquered the soap and I made this. This is coconut milk oatmeal soap. And you start with coconut milk or any milk that you use for soap. You have to start with ice cubes because when you add the lye to it, it chemically caramelizes and it got very hot. Um, we really like we really like this soap because the oatmeal acts as an exfoliant. The next soap I made is this lavender soap. The lavender buds are also a little bit of exfoliation, but not as much as the oatmeal. Uh, the natural color in this is alkanet root, which creates a dark purple color. And to make this swirl, I just alternated pouring in the plain colored base soap and the purple soap. The next one we made is charcoal and indigo. This involved doing a new swirling method using cardboard and chopsticks. Um, and the coloring is the black is the charcoal and the blue is indigo. Next one, this is a gentle soap that's safe for babies and it's mostly made of carrots and olive oil. And this one is my favorite, it smells like grapefruit and the colors are pink and red and orange the pink and orange the pink is made from pink clay the reddish color is made from matter root and the orange is made from anatto seed this one has tea tree oil and although it's pretty ugly looking at it now when you get it in the shower it creates this really pretty marble color and like i said it smells like tea tree because it has tea tree essential oil in it and another one that I have made is this energy scented soap. It smells citrusy and the color, it also has some more annatto seed in it. If you have not tried this, learning this skill yet, I hope that I've encouraged you to try. And let's get to our next video where I talk about the supplies that you need to get started. Making is a great skill to have and it makes good gifts. And if you have guests, you can give it to them to use. And a lot of people nowadays have skin issues. You can avoid certain oils, incense if you need to, and there are lots of different scents that you can make. You can try many different kinds. Brableberry.com has uh, a multitude of choices that you can try. I've only tried a few, but I plan on using more in the future. If I can do it, you can do it. I hope this encourages you to try soap making.